Hey, what's up, you guys? This is Megadeth Metallica fan here, and today we are continuing on with the Uncharted uh, Nathan Drake collection. Today we're starting on uh, the first part of Uncharted Part Two: Among Thieves. Um, it's pretty much it's a sequel. Well, we all know it's a sequel to the first game, so let's get to it, shall we? Wait a minute, what was that? Continuous speed run. Alright, let's do normal campaign. Start on normal. Hang on a second. Sorry about that. It's. Uh, I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. Marco Polo on his deathbed, 1324. Wow. Hey, don't mess with that. That's my blood. That's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Where the hell is Nate now? What the fuck? Turn shit up. Oof. A rock in a hard place. You telling me? Oof. Damn, what a drop. Oh shit. My guess is that Nate has to get over there, or he has to climb this thing. abnormal well that would probably normally happen in the real world but damn I'd hate to see anybody go through that oh fuck goes the other half of the train won't be anything by the time it's over with Hope it explains later on how Nate got there, which I'm pretty sure it will. Whoa, damn. Swing and jump. you want to swing, okay. I'm trying to get him to kick, or well, jump, actually. He's trying to jump somewhere. I'm trying to get him over there. I think he's trying to jump to that damn window. Come on, Nate. Get over there, boy. What's wrong with you? It's going to take me a little bit to figure this out. Personal. That's what I'm doing. 
Thank you very much. Well, that's the direction I want to swing, then what the fuck's called the hold up? Damn. Swing over here to the blooming edge. I guess it ain't working that way. I just kind of have to go back over here. I just wish I knew what the hell to do. It's going to take me a little bit, guys, so hang in there. Come on, Nate, do something. What the fuck do we have to do? I'm trying to look around, but there's nothing else. This is pathetic. Can we get back over there anymore? Damn it. I hate when it gets to parts like this. Especially in the first part of the game, man. Come on. Can't have this now. At least not yet. Damn it, son of a bitch. Pressing X to jump, I've been pretty much to these directions, and Nate ain't doing nothing. Seems like he's kicking, but that ain't helping as much. Son of a bitch, Nate. What the hell are we going to have to do to get you down from there? Okay, hold the left analog stick in the direction you want to swing and press jump. Press X to jump. I tried that. Damn, you have to fucking figure this out. It was a fucking puzzle. Why do things have to always be so fucking complicated? Yeah, just a swinging uh, guy right here, or a guy swinging like a monkey, whichever one you want to call it. Ugh, it's fucking embarrassing. It's annoying. Uh, I pressed the L button. <laughs> so now we gotta start all over again. Sorry about that. The L button to let go, and I didn't want him to let go. So now we're gonna have to go back up over here. Here comes the rock. Uh. Sorry if I'm not a real professional at this, guys, but I'm doing my best here, so stay with me. Oh, son of a bitch. Nate, I hope you figure something out. 
or at least I hope I figure this out in order to get you down from there. Okay. Here we go again. Okay. I just gotta think. Hang on a second. There's usually a little bit more hints or something. Usually. Is it just me or they made this too fucking complicated? Uh, recognize those markings from the first game. Those ones right there on the right on the train. <coughs> on the. What do they call those things? The carts? It's caught part of. Yeah, it's called part of the train. I think they just call them train carts or something. I know what they call them. It's just on the tip of my tongue. I can't pronounce it right now. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. Train carts, but I don't know. It doesn't sound right. Come on, Nate. Quit swinging like a fucking monkey and do something, man. Come on. Pressing the X button, what the hell else are you supposed to do? Getting tired of acting like a damn primate here. I want to do something. There you go. That's what I've been wanting you to do. Finally fucking do something. Crying out loud, man. one thing I hate about some games, man. I mean, you give them a command to do something and they don't want to fucking do it, man. I mean, you sit there and you think, am I doing this right? And, uh, you have to go back and you have to think, well, maybe I missed something and all of a sudden you go back and all of a sudden that idea that you had once before actually works. I hate when that shit happens. Son of a bitch. See, this kind of stuff makes me not want to be an explorer. Because I'd be afraid to get into some shit like this. he was in to or what the hell he was doing but he had to have been doing something showing pretty much what happened, I think, hopefully, how he got in that mess. Buy me a drink, sailor. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object for him. Adam, listening. Now, you're not going to like this. Oh, no. 
No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just, just hear me out. No. Flynn, we Travels don't want two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. And one who made it out. Yeah, barely. Can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only yeah. one who's cracked here, and you know better yeah. than anyone. It's a two-person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here she comes now. What? Chloe yeah. Fraser. Nate, Drake, Nathan, Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe is one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Right, look. I've got it all figured out. Go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there, we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. But that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Right? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, Ellen, so that it should not fall into the wrong hands, I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the 13th. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. He's talking about the lost fleet. Yeah. I know, someone want to fill me in. Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened to all those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there were 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate, fate of, of the 13th. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside this lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn Absolutely. straight. Absolutely. You in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> You'll figure it out. That's what went wrong. That's exactly. He's alive. 
course I'm alive, you dumb motherfuckers. Why you just say karma's a bitch? He ain't lying about that. He's gonna need to patch up those wounds for too long. Okay, where else can we go? <laughs> Guess we just gotta climb these boxes. Kill him, I'm not sure. Oof. <laughs> Getting tossed down, tossed around like a damn rag doll. Pretty much just like being caught in a damn washing machine. Just the way your thing was spinning. Where is he now? Hello. Uh, <clears throat> well, so much for foreplay. You might tell me what the hell is going on. You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. I missed the look on your face. Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy to find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. Oh. When I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in. On the action. So what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist, find the ships, and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm -hmm. And then? And then we split the take three ways, and you and I just disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be fine. Trust me. Okay, so they know each other. Being sore, man, he's going to be feeling that probably for the next couple days, maybe a week, even. Mm. He's lucky he'll heal quickly. Damn it! I can't believe I missed that jump. I have to really jump over there or is there another way? Well nope. Didn't really say what happened with that reporter Elena from the last game. I don't know. She may have moved on after that. Man it was never written for her if they'd stay together or whatever. Things change.
More like living the pain. Looks like he's eating it too. <laughs> Just ate the hell out of that snow. Poor guy doesn't ever seem to get get a break. Flashback, but four months earlier. You sure you're up for this? I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. We have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If we get caught, they will lock us up and throw away the sodden key. You do realize that, don't you? Better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, yeah. and we won't. We're here. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. I don't fumble. I improvise. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah. I'm, uh, adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it, all right. You need to have a little more faith in each other. <laughs> okay. This one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do this. <sighs> Chloe. I'm guessing sure you Sully. Know where you're going. Don't know your ways. I'm guessing Sully ain't a part of this game. He's probably part of the next one though. Yeah, let's see. Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey, now what do you bet that? Take us right into the boiler room. And from there, we're in. Yeah, <laughs> in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. I don't get it. Just give me a boost. So we gotta get a boost from this guy, huh? Alright. Here it comes. Thanks. Almost there. You ready? Now God is no glory. Here we go. 
these pipes. Uh, nope. Have to do something else. Oh, let's preach up there and get the ladder. Okay. So we gotta get this guy a boost now. Yeah, yeah I'll drop it down for you. Say, man, get up there already. Right. Damn. Okay, let's see where to now. Damn it, where the hell did he go? He had to go somewhere. Okay, here we go. All right. All right. This is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. All right. There's got to be a shut-off valve around here somewhere. See if you can find it, then. Shut-off valve. Okay, guess we have to climb this ladder. There it is. Got it. Damn. So I'm guessing we have to jump straight across then. I can't climb on that uh, pipe. Or whatever it is. Okay, I see what we gotta do now. We gotta grab onto that rail. This again. Back to fucking square one. Come on, this be a piece of cake for you, man. Come on. I don't believe it. Okay. There he goes. Finally. I'm hoping I won't have to do too many of those in this game. Take cover, press O when next to an object. Let me press okay. circle. Now there should be a door just on the earth. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? Tell me you didn't miss this. Here, right? Okay. Locked. Good job Good I job came I prepared. <laughs> I picked more than my nose, my friend. No, wait! There's an alarm. That's new since last time. Great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction office. It's gotta be around here somewhere. It's 
Okay, I'll get Ben and Jensen to talk to you. Yeah, we found a ring. Good. Yeah, we'll take a look at all that stuff later. Right now, I want to try and get into this game a little bit. At the junction box. Yep. There, there. I got it. Takes a corner around. To exit cover around corners, press left analog stick forward and tap O. Okay. Perform a stealth attack, approach an enemy, I nose, and then press square. Okay. Through that gate over here. Well, let's do it. Can you cover for someone next to an object? Yeah. Form a corner transition. Okay. Trying to exit out of it, but it won't let me do it. Okay, here we go. We've got to get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it, got it. Just gotta press the buttons at the right time. You know, I'm pressing them at the right time, it won't work. Or should I say at the appropriate time? It don't matter, it's the same thing. <sighs> Shit, we got caught. Oh, so we gotta take this guy out first. I get it. <laughs> he seen us knock the shit out of that one dude. That was pretty funny. 
grabbed Nate's foot and he drop kicked the sh he side kicked the shit out of him. I was gonna say drop kick, but that's different. Let's see. close. <sighs> Gotta wait for him to turn around. Can't make the move now. It'd be too soon. Come on, damn it. ain't gonna move, we're just gonna have to go down there and knock him out. Fuck. We'll figure this out. get it this time. Just gotta make sure that I get that one guy down here. Lights out. So that's why I needed to do all along. I just had to figure it out. Yeah. Got that out of the way. Okay, okay. We should be able to lift this up. Sneak right under. Whoa, 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 whoa. No sunglasses. There's another one. Oh, great, great. You want to get this one? Wait here. Okay, so we just gotta search around and try to disarm that one. Let's hope it's around somewhere close. Yeah, it should be close by. We just gotta find it. cable from the alarm to the junction box. Could have used that information a little earlier. I'm gonna go down here and see where it goes. an idea. Well, let's see if we could try and get up there somehow. Well, should have thought about that a little earlier. Right 
right there the whole time. Good thing we didn't have to go so far just to find it. Shit. So we gotta head for the fountain, okay? I know I like to get a little over ahead, it's just I like to find out a little bit more about what's going on. I get a little over excited there. He spotted us there for a second. Now he's just gonna go on and mind his own business. Okay. Got him out of the way. Now it's just punk. Like, and what the fuck are you gonna hit me? I'll hit you back. <laughs> it's funny. for the fountain, not, not, not those, well, not, not that one guy out, we're just gonna have to, just improvise our way, Spot it again. Hopefully this time we do it right. Mm. I'm kind of getting tired of kicking their asses anyway. Ugh. Motherfucker down there saw us. <sighs> Sun is shining over there. Mm-hmm. 
Well, we earned a trophy for that. I think we, uh, I have mine, but, uh, push comes to shove. Order! Damn, he saw us. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. I can spot it again, so I, I can tell this ain't gonna be easy. Okay, I just gotta get to the damn fountain. Then we just gotta improvise from there, but damn. Mm How -hmm. else am I gonna do? Oh, well, he's out. Let's see. Well, I guess can't. Just can't walk over there. Okay, what else is there to do? We don't got a damn tranquilizer gun or nothing. Just gotta think our way through this. Okay, what's the best? Wow. Let's see. Taking him down will be alright, but then we'd have to worry about the other guy over there alerting everyone else. If we take him down, more or less this guy right here is going to squeal. There has to be a gap somewhere. Doesn't look like it. Just gotta improvise and try and get past these clowns. I tried picking up that thing up on the floor, but it won't let me get it. more. Come on. Turn around already. Okay. Not much further. So this is pretty much what we gotta do. We can't just knock out every one of them. We just gotta sneak by them. That makes it more difficult. Got to wait for him to turn away. There. Okay. Senin burada olmaman. Motherfucker. Shit. What else is 
else we gotta do when we get to the fucking fountain? Gotta do climate? <laughs> Honestly, we gotta do something. Sweet dreams. Alright. Let's try and see if we can climb this thing. Get to the fountain, he says. Well, there ain't nothing special about it, so I'm guessing... Oops. No, we just gotta sneak by the fountain, that's all I know. I figured we had to get on top of the fountain, maybe it had something hidden on it. On top of it, I don't know. It turns out we can't get up there, so even if we try, so... The best thing we gotta do is just sneak by these, uh, assholes. Okay, he's turned around now. Damn it. This ain't gonna be easy as I thought it would be. It's probably one of the hardest parts in the first of the game. Damn it. Figures, you kick their asses and they alarm everybody. No matter what you do. Damn it. Went in too soon. Don't worry guys, we'll figure this out. Eventually. We'll stay stuck here forever. Okay, don't have a gun we can take. Well, we can't alert the guards anyway, so... That's out. I wish it wasn't so dark. See if I could adjust the brightness a little bit. Display. That's as bright as it's going to get. So I'm just going to have to improvise. I wish a hint would come along right now. I certainly use one. I wish I knew exactly what to do, but I don't.
Hmm. Well, we can't do that either. And then the climb on here. There's something missing. Can't climb over there. I'm gonna try and knock this fucker around and see if we can go anywhere over here. Sweet Damn it. Fuck the fountain. when he didn't see that. Okay, Let's see if we can go into these doors. Damn it. Came over here for nothing. That bitch. At least now we know. Head to the fountain, he says. Must be something. Something that we're missing. Music, come on up. Done that. Should have just knocked his nasty ass out when I had a chance. <sighs> I'm getting tired of fucking staying at this place. Some fish. <gasps> Fuck. He's seen it. He's seen his hands. <laughs>
Damn it, that guy gave us away. I wish that guy would think of something constructive to say that help us move forward. Now this part should be called um, between a rock and a hard place because that's what I feel like we're stuck at. Okay, we're at the fucking fountain now, genius. What what else you want to do? Ring the bell and say howdy do neighbor? Fucking smart. <sighs> some shining over there. I don't know what it is, but I think it's a collectible or something. I'm not gonna worry about it. For the love of it all, please help us get through this. These guys are getting on my last fucking nerve, man, I'm telling you. No matter what we do, it doesn't matter how many other asses we kick. There's no getting out of this. It's fucking stupid, man. It's stupid. Why the hell couldn't we continue off for where we were at? Or something. Man, I'd pretty much rather see cutscenes of what's going on right here than having to worry about, you know, having to do this shit. Hell, this is even harder than the first one. Or at least the first half of it. The first half of the first one wasn't that hard at all. At least not like this. I don't even remember doing anything like this. The first one. Well, we yeah, had an option. get any fucking way. Mm -hmm. Eventually we will. Through time. Oh man. I feel like I'm in that damn Back to the Future game. It was hard trying to figure every fucking thing out. Back to the, I'm telling you what, man, that Back to the Future game, now that game made your mind, that, it really put your mind to work, let's just put it at that. And this game does something similar, but 
It also does something else that that one game also did. Kind of gets on the edge of your nerves, actually. Don't wait for him to turn around again with that stupid flashlight. <sighs> Damn it. Was that it right there that we had to go to? We have to get to the fountain and... I'm just gonna go where that shining thing is. I don't know what the fuck it is. I'm getting tired of kicking these guys' asses. I'm getting tired of trying to fucking guess on where to go. I don't, I don't feel like staying stuck here all damn night. I just wish that, you know, they wouldn't do it like this right here. I, I fucking hate when they do stuff like this. It pisses me off. I hate sneaking like this. I'm getting bored. Okay. Alright, genius. Now what? Okay, he's right there for some reason. So, what's the game plan? Alright, so we got that guy out of the way. Quit jumping around, Nate. Hurry up. Okay, I'm guessing this is the door. I hope. Nope. Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? Finally. Getting tired of fucking figuring this out. We finally got past those fuckers. Sheesh. Moment of relief, finally. Sorry we took so long, you guys, but that's the way some games work. You gotta figure them out. If you don't figure them out well, you're gonna be stuck. So, you gotta be willing to do whatever. Oh, crap. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. 
Oh, that's brilliant. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your Finally? Why didn't you give us that in the first place, you fucking... Oh. oh. oh Good idea. Idiots. Great. Okay. A little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You okay with that? I know how to shoot a gun, genius. Finally, we get tranquilizer guns. Kind of wish we got we got those earlier. We gotta make sure we're in close, that's the reason. So we're not in close. They're not gonna work. Okay. What if we can. No, we can't do that either. Shit. Got it. Where are you at? Oh, there you are. Okay, this is with wheels. This is very heavy. There, that'll work. Now all we need is a horse. Those rafters will get us onto the roof. Up there. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Yeah. Oh, yours. Huh. Well, good thinking. Hey! Hey, lad, you got it! Hey, lad, you got it! <laughs> Sure. In games like this, you can hardly ever keep your feet on the ground. Okay. 
Okay. Looks like something that is over there that we can get. We'll go over there and get it. Alright. Okay, got that. We are there. All right, there's the tower. Getting closer. Appreciate that update, Captain Obvious. <laughs> no more donuts for you. Oh, holy shit. Oh, about to say, man. Damn, don't need that. Whew. Okay, uh. Now what? Figure that part out, I guess. Okay. <laughs> well, yeah, I remember now we came from this side, duh. So we're about to climb again. See, we 
got to do something around here, I think. There he is. wonder where he went. Okay. Can't get up there. Okay, well, where else is there to go? See your house. Let's get moving. Smart ass. Okay, here's a ladder. That's what we was looking for. Okay, that's good. Well, what the hell? Oh shit. Not this again. Uh. Okay, we did it a little bit more easier that time. Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. <laughs> That's not good. Shit, we've been on here for about an hour or so. Okay. We clean. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to play this long. A little bit lesser than this, but it takes time to solve puzzles. Here we go. It is. And there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. Now we're sure it's the right one. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. resin. It'll burn. And? Just give me your lighter. Is that really a good idea in here? And? Probably not a good idea at all. Whoa. Let me see that. Our ships were driven by a great flood tide into the wilds of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. 
Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shembala. The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala? Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. If they were carrying the Chintamani stuff, it might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. Right, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? So what are you gonna do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Do you think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flint, listen. Face it, genius. You've been playing. Ah, <laughs> uh -uh, not yet. Figures. Want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? You'll get yours. Laser time. Bastard. No, 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 no. Okay, now I'm screwed. One little detail, didn't you, partner? What? Face it, genius, you've been played. Oh, really? <gasps> hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining the show here. Ah, oh, what a shame. Sully. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, at the Grecian Good to see him. Did go through the rest of your money. A good chunk of my own, but hey. Ah. Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. <laughs> How'd you find me? Well, uh, a friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nathan. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. Here her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not that bad. Look, I have my own bucket. Ooh. Last cell I was in, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first no, place, I wouldn't minute. have been rotting in this shithole for Listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you, he's not going to listen to me. 
Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo? Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Lazarevich. You know, the nutcakes. They've been working together all along. Right there, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. You're going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. They'll never see it coming. Payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire of the deepest blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well, that's why it has to be a inside job from someone they know and trust oh okay i see where this is going I just need a diversion you give me five minutes in that tent that's all it'll take really five minutes well that's great i won't even have to get my top off chloe i was thinking more like an explosion or well, that can be arranged are you in oh hell yes i was in before you were Yeah, I wasn't expecting Sully to be in here. Chloe, you reading us? Because no, we're getting close. We saw him at the first of the game in the first one. <laughs> okay, I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Okay, I'm gonna stop this right here, you guys. I hate to do it, but. Been playing this game for a while now, and I know this video is probably going to be at least about an hour, hour and a half long. So, don't want to keep you guys, you know, just sitting around, sitting around like that. I know you guys probably got things to do, but I will make another video of this. I have no idea when. I'll probably pick it up when in the next day or so. If not tomorrow, hopefully the next day. But I really do thank you guys for watching. If you like this video. You know what to do. Make sure to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.